stress on the rocket. Falcon Heavy is supersonic. There we just heard the call out that the vehicle is now traveling faster than the speed of sound. What a beautiful sight. Max Q. All right, there we just heard the call out. That is the moment of peak mechanical stress on the rocket. M1D engines throttling back up. Beautiful sight to see Falcon Heavy flying once again. Now shortly we'll hear the call out for MVAC chill, indicating that the second stage is uh, prepping the MVAC engine. The vehicle is following a nominal trajectory. We will flow a little bit of the super chilled liquid oxygen through the turbo pumps on that MVAC in preparation for the full flow of the super chilled uh, propellant. Shots there of each side booster on the right hand side of your screen. Next event will be booster engine cutoff, or BECO. That will be followed by stage separation of side boosters, side booster boost back burn, center core main engine cutoff. We are about 10 seconds away from the booster um, separation. Booster separation confirmed. And there you can see and heard it by the incredible excitement within the crowd behind me. Successful separation of the side boosters. Booster, booster, booster. There we can see three engines on each side booster have relit for their boost back burn. There we heard the call out that the booster entry burn has begun. Looks like the ice on those cameras are now clearing. NY and NYFTS have saved. All vehicles continue to follow nominal trajectories. So that re-entry burn has concluded. We're expecting the landing burn to begin in about 30 seconds. The entry burn intended to slow the vehicles down significantly as they re-enter the Earth's atmosphere. Amazing tracking cam views of the boosters as they return to landing zone one and two. We can see the grid fins there. Both on side boosters transonic. Stage two FTS is saved. Stage two is in terminal guidance. We can see those grid fins steering the boosters for a precise landing. Again, we're attempting Booster landing. Landing, landing zone one and two. With these two side boosters, this marks the 150th and 151st overall successful landing of an 
orbital class rocket. This is the 21st landing at landing zone one and the fourth landing at landing zone two. I made this. <laughs> 